When a kind animal shelter volunteer decided to adopt a sick shelter dog, she was unsure if she was doing the right thing. However, what the dog did when it realized it was being adopted left many people in tears. Kayla Falloon was a volunteer with the Philadelphia-based Animal Care and Control Team, or ACCT Philly for short. At 20 years of age, she had always loved animals and helping them out, and for the past year she had been voluntarily walking dogs in order to keep them fit, strong, healthy, and socialized. It was a fun way for her to interact with animals and do something she was truly passionate about, as well as giving something back to her community. Kayla most definitely loved her volunteer work and formed a strong and lasting bond with all the dogs that were living in the shelter. Some animals were trickier than others. For example, there were dogs that had been in abusive homes with people that had mistreated them. These dogs were untrusting and sometimes even violent. It was all part of Kayla's job to try to calm them down and show them that not all people were as bad and nasty as their previous owners. On the other hand, there were sick or injured dogs that needed help getting around. These were a different kind of challenge, as Kayla would have to be slow and not push them because the walks were all about rehabilitation and getting used to exercise again. It most definitely took a certain type of person to be able to deal with all these different kinds of dogs and keep coming back day after day. But Kayla was committed to her job and wouldn't have changed a thing about it. But there was one particular dog that Kayla had always had a soft spot for. Russ was a stray pit bull who had found his way to ACCT Philly in a pretty horrendous condition. He had been found wandering the streets and a kindly pedestrian had managed to get a leash on him in order to guide him to the shelter. Unfortunately though, Russ was painfully underweight and his ribs were visible through his patchy fur. He was also very badly bruised possibly through accidents while on the streets, but more than likely from fights with other animals, or maybe even humans kicking the poor stray away. On top of that, Russ was suffering from kennel cough, a respiratory virus caused by a buildup of bacteria in his lungs. This cough can sound terrible, and if left untreated, may cause significant damage. Luckily, the veterinary team at the shelter were treating the virus and monitoring Russ's progress as it slowly cleared up. It's safe to say that at only four years of age, this sweet pit bull had been through more than enough in his young life. When Russ first came into the shelter, Kayla was taken aback by his unfortunate looks. Thankfully, she tried not to judge a book by its cover and decided that she was going to take the poor dog for a walk. She thought it would be nice for him to get some positive interactions for a change. However, what surprised Kayla the most was that Russ was actually a very well-behaved dog he walked alongside her without pulling the leash, didn't bark or try to chase other dogs, while at the same time remained unafraid of them and even followed commands. Russ seemed to have a very affectionate and loving side, and despite his rough start, it was obvious that he really was a good boy, and that's exactly what endeared him to Kayla. She knew that he was special from the very first moment they walked together. Over the next few weeks, Kayla would regularly take Russ out for walks, enjoying her time with him and noticing that he was looking better and better as the days went by. It seemed that Russ's time with the ACCT filly was doing him wonders, but the sad fact was that it seemed that no one wanted to adopt Russ. Not only was his fur still all patchy and he was still pretty thin and mangy looking, but people tended to not want to adopt pit bulls. They had a reputation as being violent animals and bad pets. Kayla knew this was categorically untrue but there was little she could do to convince people otherwise. There was one option though, if no one else was willing to adopt Russ, then perhaps Kayla could step up and be the one to give this poor pit bull a new home where he could be loved and live out his days in happiness. But the issue was that Kayla was unsure if she was ready to adopt a dog of her own. She had always loved animals and she intended to adopt a dog one day, but this all seemed very sudden. However, on the other hand, she couldn't deny how close of a relationship she had formed with Russ. Perhaps it was meant to be, perhaps not. She would have to think it over. There was something that threw a spanner in the works though. The ACCT filly was facing space issues and there was a lot of overcrowding. This was no good for the animals who required their own space. Sadly, there were far healthier dogs at the facility than Russ. And if the overcrowding could not be brought under control, there was a very real risk that the pit bull would face euthanasia. This was a constant dark cloud in the back of Kayla's mind as she mulled over what she should do next. She couldn't stand to see Russ be put down just because they had no space. It was this simple fact that swayed her and convinced her to make the right choice. 
she would adopt Russ and give him a new forever home. Of course, this would take quite a bit of preparation. She would need to buy dog beds, food, blankets, and everything that Russ would need at his new home. On top of all that, Kayla would need to better understand what meds the dog needed and get her head around how to properly look after him and help him on his road to recovery. Setting up everything was not a cheap or easy task, but Kayla found herself getting more and more excited as the days went by. Then, of course, the adoption process at the ACCT Philly was not quick or easy. While she was a volunteer part of the staff, her home had to be inspected to make sure it was suitable. That would not result in Russ being returned to the shelter. Of course, Kayla passed with flying colors, and before she knew it, the day came when she would be taking Russ home. Now, up until that point, she had not treated the pit bull any differently to how she had always treated him. But this time, instead of going to the nearby park, Kayla drove Russ to her home. He seemed a little weary and confused as he hopped down out of the car, but then it was as if he suddenly realized what was happening. Russ looked from the house to Kayla and back again, seeming to understand that this was his new home. He started to bark happily and jump up at Kayla, trying to give her hugs and kisses in appreciation. It was a truly heartwarming sight. Russ settled into his new home perfectly, and Kayla was more sure than ever that she had made the perfect choice. She couldn't have been more glad that she had adopted this poor, seemingly unlovable pit bull. One thing that struck Kayla was how affectionate Russ was. He would never leave her side and would constantly want to be cuddled up to her. Whether she was sitting on her chair doing her homework or relaxing on the sofa watching TV, he would always find a way to cuddle with her. Even with the whole other sofa open or his big fluffy bed on the floor, he didn't want to lie anywhere else. So no matter where Kayla was or what she was doing, he would always end up positioning himself to be as close to her as physically possible. Kayla decided to share some photos of her and Russ online, showing off how much he had settled into his new home and how loving he was, despite the prejudice his breed faced. And when people saw how grateful the pit bull was to have a new loving owner, it brought tears to their eyes. Everyone deserves love, and everyone deserves a second chance in life, no matter how difficult things may have been. Kayla was kind enough to give Russ that second chance, and he would appreciate that forever, for the rest of his days. So now it's over to you. What did you think of this heartwarming story? Would you have been kind enough to adopt Russ the pit bull? How would you have felt if he showed you so much affection and appreciation? As always, we love to hear from you so be sure to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below.